angles, double angles, together with your grade 11 tree to do that pursuit. Okay? So for me, the numerator, I, I'm just going to simplify using reduction formula. Okay, so sine 157,5 degrees, I can write that. Well, I don't want to consider people to be knowing. Because recently I've been making some assumptions that were not correct. So we have to subtract an acute angle from one, from 108 degrees for you to get 157. So that acute angle is going to be 22,5 degrees. Right? Then 562,5 degrees. It's an angle is more than 360. So we have to subtract 360 from it. You subtract 360 from that, you are going to get cos of 202. Comma five degrees. Right? I'm going to simplify it. Then sine 330, we can write it to go back to the yeah. basics. It will be 360 yeah. degrees minus 30 degrees. Okay? Then if I use my knowledge of reduction from grade 11, that did this angle 157.5. It's in the second quadrant. So I will get here sine 22,5 degrees. Then if I break this up into 18 plus 22,5, I'll get 18 plus 22,5, which is in the third quadrant, and cos in the third in the third quadrant is negative. Therefore, I can end up getting minus sine 22,5 times cos 22,5. This is all over. Now, 330 is in the fourth quadrant, so that will give me minus sine 30 degrees. Okay? All right? Now, from here now, I now need to introduce my knowledge of special angles here, because I've got 30 degrees. Then, if you look at the numerator, I can simplify it like here. But here I've got a minus 1, which means I can factor out minus 1 and then introduce the 2. Okay? So I can write this as minus, open bracket. From last uh, Friday's lesson, I told that if the coefficient is the 1 in a case like this, you can write as 2 over 2. So we can end up having 2 sine 22,5 degrees times cos 22,5 degrees. This will be all over, right? All over 2, okay? Because this 2 here, divided by that 2, it will give you a 1. I explained that on, on Friday, right? Then, okay, let me not put the bracket here. Please move the bracket. Uh, okay. Right, so this division line which I put here is for the numerator. Then there is also this division line, which I'm going to convert to a division sign. So if I convert it to a division sign, it means I'll end up having minus sine 30 degrees. Okay? Then this minus here, this negative and that negative, because of division, they'll give me a what? A positive. Okay? And then remember, you are not supposed to use a calculator. That's the instruction here. Okay? That's the instruction. No calculator. So you have to show all your working out if you intend to get full marks. Right? Then from here. I can carry on, let me carry on on the next page. So, sine 30, we know that it's a half, all right? And then this division, sine, I can convert it to multiplication, okay? Which is what I'm going to do just now. So, on the next page, I'm going to end up having, this will be 2. Now, remember, it's now 2 sine 22,5 degrees times cos. 22,5 degrees. This is all over 2 times times 
Well, let me put my division sign test. That would be a half. Right? Thank you. The numerator for the first fraction can be simplified using number one, where theta is going to be 22,5. So if I take it to the left hand side, I have to multiply theta by 2. So it becomes 2 times 22,5, which will give me sine 45. Okay? Over 2. Times 2 over 1. I'm not using a calculator. As you can see, there's no calculator involved. Therefore, you have to show all your working out. Okay? Don't leave anything out. So this 2 and that 2 cancel. So you end up having sine 45 degrees. And the answer of 1 over square root 2. Okay, so I evaluated it without using a calculator. Yes? It's mathematically correct. Do you hear what I'm saying? Right. It's mathematically correct. Okay, if it happens that you probably did it in a different way than me, please, if it's mathematically co uh, correct, then you deserve your full marks. Okay. Right. Allow me to turn on both of time constraints. Okay, I gave you question one here. Three. Yes, I said B3. Okay, B3. Okay, have I not answered that question before? All right. Uh, can I have your attention?